A and B invested rupees 60,000 each and started a business. After one year, A invested an additional amount of 30,000 and B withdraws rupees 10,000. At the end of two years, they earn a profit of 74,100. Find the share of A in the profit. So when just listen carefully, there are two person in a business and both the person are investing the same amount. That means 60,000, 60,000 for the first year. So what we can do here is 60,000 for one year into one. So similarly, the second person B is also investing the same amount 60,000 for one year. After one year, A invested an additional amount of 30,000. Already he is investing 60,000. So now he is adding additional amount of 30,000. So 60 plus 30 will be 90,000. For the second year, he is investing 90,000 for the remaining one year. So similarly, what about B? So B withdraws 10,000. Already he is investing how much? 60,000. So now he is withdrawing 1,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees. So the remaining one year, he will be investing 50,000. So now we have to find what is their investment ratio. So 60,000, 90,000 will be 1 lakh 50,000. 60,000, 50,000 will be 1 lakh 10,000. So we can cancel all the zeros. So finally we will get 115, that is 15 is to 11. So this will be their investment ratio. So now according to the question, our target is to find what is the profit of A. So A investment is 15. So divided by total 26 into 7400 so we have to find the answer for it so we can cancel it 126 twos are 72 so remaining will be 215 around 8 times 28 6 pies are 30 10 5 times and 0 so 2850 into 15 so 5 pies are 25 so remaining will be 2 again 7 times 2 8 10 2 times 23, 4, 4 times 0. So answer for this question, 42750. So which will be the profit of the person A?